Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Natasha Vilaseca and I create videos all around lead generation, specifically when it comes to LinkedIn. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how you can generate thousands of leads using AI, specifically ChatGPT on LinkedIn. So without further ado, let's get stuck right in. This video is also sponsored by HubSpot who are providing a free resource that will help you apply everything you learn in this video. So make sure you stick around until the end to find out how to grab this. Let's start with the basics. What is ChatGPT and why should you use it? It is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI in order to create human-like text and engage in meaningful conversations. Now, why should we use it? The first thing that people complain about when it comes to lead generation, specifically outbound lead generation, is the amount of time that it takes. If we can use AI in the correct way without completely replacing ourselves, it can be a powerful aid and almost act as a virtual assistant to help you get through tasks quicker and faster than you have been able to do before. To make this as easy and as simple as possible, I'm gonna run you through a quick step-by-step -step guide on what steps you should be taking when it comes to generating leads on LinkedIn and how we can incorporate the use of ChatGPT to help you optimize this process a little bit more. So step number one is optimizing your LinkedIn profile. I'm gonna put a screen flow of this over on the screen now so you can see, but you can essentially create an about section with the help of ChatGPT. If you don't have one at all, you can outline the task that you want it to run. So telling it that you want it to create an about section on LinkedIn for you, what kind of um, tone of voice you want it to have. So if it's gonna be super professional, if it's gonna be friendly, if there's gonna be a little bit of humor in there, like give it the context of the tone and how many characters you want it to be and if you want there to be a call to action at the end. What I would recommend though, is creating a draft of your about section first and then using chat gpt to optimize it so that's actually what i did with mine i copied it from linkedin and i pasted it into chat gpt i said please can you optimize my about section for keywords when it comes to lead generation for sales professionals on linkedin and it literally went through and i was a little bit offended it cut out most of my humor and removed a lot of the fluff that i had in there and a lot of the jargon and it made sure that it was just keyword heavy. So I think that's a good example of how you can use this platform to improve on what you have already created originally so you're not completely just being lazy. What is the most important thing when it comes to generating leads on LinkedIn? It is the first impression. And on LinkedIn, your first impression is your profile. The concept of having a great profile can definitely be daunting, but what if I told you that there was a science behind it? A step-by-step -step process that could turn your profile into a client magnet that was going to attract them and then convert them into taking the next step to either speaking to you directly um, or sending you a message. The Ultimate LinkedIn Profile Playbook is a resource recently released by HubSpot that runs through the A to Z on how you can create the perfect LinkedIn profile from choosing the best headshot through to creating a compelling summary. There's also a bunch of content tips, networking strategies, and some best practices for success. When you are in a lead generation role, it is very common that you feel the urge to give up maybe one time a day, maybe multiple times a day. I know that's definitely been the case with me in the past, but after doing this for about six years, I can say that the most impactful results that I've been able to generate have been from the small needle moving activities that I've done every single day. Those little activities of action that build up and compound to larger success over the longer period of time. Grab the resource, click on the link below in the description, download it to your device and start taking action immediately after this video. Number two is to identify your target audience. I have spoken about this quite a lot in previous videos. What is your avatar? Like what does your ideal client look like when it comes to industry, their geographical location, their job title, how big are the company is that they work out, like the headcount of the company. I would recommend doing this research manually. There's actually a lot of free templates online that you can use if you just search like ideal client persona worksheet, something similar to that. I'm sure you'll get lots of free templates that will come up. And if you want to use ChatGPT to help you with it, you could, for example, explain 
I'm an example of a really good client for you. So say if it's a specific company and say, go and find me a list of 20 companies that match similar characteristics to X company. And that could be like a way that it could help you identify more clients that fit within your ideal. Number three is to personalize your connection requests. I would do this work yourself more than using AI. I think you can literally have a quick scan on somebody's LinkedIn profile and pick out something that is relevant. You could use ChatGPT to create some example templates of personalized connection requests for the surrounding language that you could use, but then you go to somebody's profile and you find the thing in common, for example, if you went to the same university, if you have the same kind of interest, if you have the same job role, like whatever it may be, but then you put that personalized spin on every connection request that you send. Number four is using ChatGPT to create an outbound messaging sequence for you. I would view these all as templates, like never just copy paste. Most of the time I'm doing small edits and I'm getting general structures and then putting my own original spin into it. So remember to make it your own. How do you speak? What is your approach to sales? Still have like a unique twist on this, but you can use it to create, for example, your initial outbound messages when it comes to outreach. So please create a um, message for me as soon as I connect with somebody initially that would want to set up a call with them or want to engage in a conversation or speak about a common interest. So you can create some of those templates for the initial conversation. And then you can literally copy and paste those templates onto LinkedIn when somebody accepts your connection request, for example, and then you just edit that one thing. So you have like one template that you use every single time, which is similar, and then you just like add in a little spin. Number five is to split test. So do an A-B test with your messaging sequences. I have done this since the beginning. Most good sales reps will do this as well. If you have an outbound messaging sequence of templates, you should always split test that with different verbiage, like try a different set of messages that may be even less salesy or more direct or slowly building on the rapport or not asking for a call to action immediately. Like you can do one set of outbound messages, say for seven days and keep a record of what your response rate, what your conversion rate is, what your ignore rate is in a simple Google spreadsheet. Like we do not need to make this complicated unless you have like a CRM and stuff already set up. Just use a Google Sheet or a Google Doc and make a note of those numbers and then get ChatGPT or yourself to create another set of outbound messages. And then you can actually enter all the numbers that you have into chat and ask it to create a download report for you where you can see on a month by month basis which sequences are performing in the best way. Number six is to measure, optimize and improve. You can mainly do this just yourself, um, but just make sure that with everything that you do when it comes to your outbound outreach and your lead generation efforts, that you are tracking all of your numbers at every single stage of the sales process. And from that, having a look at any holes you may have in your approach and how you can make your approach even better, track, optimize everything, improve, iterate. Remember the key to successful lead generation on LinkedIn has been and will always be in my opinion, social selling and authentic genuine relationships. A lot of this AI stuff has made people use it as a complete crutch instead of needing to be original and having their own human input. But at the end of the day, nothing can replace being a human being. So make sure that you are still putting in that meaningful approach yourself and you're using chat to just help you along a little bit, like a virtual assistant, not just a complete replacement and a full-time employee. Now, let's give you some prompts that you can use on ChatGPT to help you with your LinkedIn lead generation. The most important thing when it comes to prompts is to make sure that you define the task and you tell ChatGPT exactly what you want it to do. So what is the task? What is the context and are there any other little things that it needs to know in terms of the tone of voice if it's creating content for you any examples or kind of companies or profiles that you want to take into consideration when it's doing this research for you and how you want it to present the format so do you want this as a report do you want it as a bullet point list do you want it as a script how long how short do you want it to be so just make sure that you're very 
clear because it's only going to do exactly what you tell it to. So I'm going to go through a few of these. However, there is a long list and I think you guys might get bored if I go through every single one. So I will go through a few of them, but I'll put them all up on the screen so you can just take a screenshot at the end of like the slides that have the prompts on. The first one is to identify prospects. Can you help me find potential leads in specific industry or segment that you are looking to find leads in who might be interested in and then name your product or your service. So for example, can you help me find potential leads in the real estate industry who might be interested in um, lead generation services, like literally anything. You just kind of plug in what makes sense to you. Number two, research assistance. Provide me with information about add the target company, including their key decision makers, recent news and pain points that they might struggle with. Number three, data enrichment. I have a list of leads. Can you help me enrich their profiles with details like job titles, company size and contact information? This has been a bit of a hit or miss for me, to be honest. I'm not sure if chat GPT is the best place to do this because you can use like sales navigator and, and different things to do that. I've got so many here. I'm not sure how many there is exactly, maybe like 15 of them or so. Um, from connection request, outreach message drafts, referral request messages, competitor analysis, like literally everything. So just screenshot the next few slides and go and test them out. See if they work well for you and feel free to like be original and like change around the messaging as well if you want to. Before we wrap up, and I'm probably going to repeat myself with a few of these, let's quickly go over some best practices when it comes to lead generation on LinkedIn. So number one is to keep it personal. Make sure that you personalize everything. Don't be copy paste. Don't be a robot, which is ironic with this video topic. Don't be a robot. Like people can tell. I can tell if I receive a message and it's AI because they'll sometimes call me like a different name. They'll just be really obvious errors. And I can tell when somebody's put in the effort to reference something that is specific to me, like a specific YouTube video that they watched that helped them, a specific resource that they downloaded, or if they are a student in one of my courses, like I, I know if it's been personalized. Number two is to avoid spammy messages. I don't know if I need to say anything else, but just don't be that person. Number three is to follow up. The key is in the follow up. People are busy, a lot of people don't see it follow up in the least annoying way you can. Don't just send one message and then give up and think they don't need it. Like sometimes it is just the timing. Four is measure and optimize. I've already said this, but you can use AI to analyze your numbers and your stats and stuff that you track. And then finally is to be patient. Building relationships takes time. I know it can be frustrating, but if you don't get all the results that you want immediately, just make sure to put in those small needle moving activities every single day, take those small steps of action. And in the long run, if you're doing the right thing, you will get the reward for those efforts. So that is everything for today's video. As you have seen, ChatGPT and AI can help you supercharge your efforts as long as you do it in the correct way. Please let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this topic and if you have any other video requests for me. Make sure that you download the HubSpot resource and I will see you in the next video.